Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Bayou City Wing Sports. Today we're going to be talking about those Houston Texans coming off a disappointing loss. Deshaun Watson has a great game again, five touchdowns, no picks, looks pretty good, got rattled early and really finished strong. Nine touchdowns, 544 yards, and one pick in the last two games. you got to ask yourself, has Houston found their real quarterback? Everybody I know and myself agrees he's the real deal. He kind of reminds me of what Prescott did for Dallas last year. Really came in, gave that offense life. Now you got to wonder, is the offense going to be able to pick up the load to help with that defense? Losing Merciless, losing Watt, having no linebacker core and some shaky secondary. Can the offense score enough points to keep them in the rest of the games? I think if this team goes 9-7 and seven and it's hanging on the offense, you're looking really optimistic for the future of this team. you got to figure out what to do with that line and if you're going to really keep having J.J. Watt stay around. J.J. had an amazing run from 2011 to 2015, making all 82 games in those four seasons, but you got to see what's going on with 25% of his games played in the last two seasons, going on another major injury. It's, it's going to get questionable. What do you keep doing with Watt? Can you keep relying on him? You've got a couple of games coming up going to be pretty easy for you. Looking at Cleveland, 10-point favorites there. You've got to go to Seattle. That doesn't look very fun, but then you're getting to come back home to a weak Indianapolis team. If you really do well here, you're probably coming out of this 5-4 and four and really looking to finish the season with those last seven games, hopefully going 4-3 and three in that and finishing 9-7 and seven like the goal would be. It's going to be a pretty easy division as long as everybody else keeps falling off like they are, but they got to stay tough on the offensive side. Will Fuller's got to have hands, unlike he did all last year. Those two games with these two touchdowns is a real promising start, but we all don't forget last season how he couldn't catch a cold. So let's keep a positive side. We'll go into Cleveland here, come out with a win, get back to 500, and see what we can do the rest of the season. That's all we got for Bayou City Wing Sports. This week's food item of the week is going to be our wonderful grilled chicken. You can get them plain here with a dry rub, curly straighter waffle fries, and a wonderful Bayou City Wings dipping sauce on the side. Stop in, get a cold beer, and we'll see you Sunday.